All right, everybody, welcome to another What's On Dave Shelf video. In this video, Shadow of the Demon Lord. And I'm a sucker for 3D6 mechanic systems, and that's what Shadow of the Demon Lord is all about. Uh, I really like Shadow of the Demon Lord. I've played this. I've ran a couple of the small one-page adventures in the past a couple of years ago. And I plan on running more Shadow of the Demon Lord content probably next year in 2021 or so. So Shadow of the Demon Lord will be coming. Now, Shadow of the Demon Lord, when this first came out, it was kickstarted. And I did the Kickstarter, and I really liked it. I mean, the core rule book, this is an all-in-one game book. Much like the way, you know, a lot of games are going these days. And it's about 275 pages or so. And this has everything you need. Everything from classes to running the game, all of the rules. It has a, an extensive bestiary section in here with just tons and tons of monsters. As you can see, I mean, it's just, it's very nicely put together. Uh, and... There were quite a few other supplements that came out, like the Demon Lord's Companion and stuff. Those came out during the Kickstarter as well. But I guess he just couldn't put everything in the one book because it just would have been too big. But like I said, this is a 3D6 system. It has a really unique Boons and Bane system, which uh, is like an advantage and disadvantage. But instead of you know having two dice and rolling it and taking the best, the way that it works with the 3D6 system is you roll your 3D6 plus your modifiers and everything. And then depending on whatever feature you're going to use or whatever the combat calls for, you'll have your boons and banes, which boons are your advantages and banes are your disadvantages. And if you have, and they can, they cancel each other out as well. So if you have four boons and two banes, you'll roll two dice and then you'll take the highest, which will be D6s because this is a D6 game. And there are a couple other rolls. There's like a D20 roll for like items and stuff as well. But you'll roll your two D6s and then you'll, add the highest of them so you won't add them together you'll take the highest roll so if you roll a three and a five then your boon modifier will be plus five to your 3d6 plus modifiers roll which is really nice i i like that uh and in fact i honestly like that better than the way advantage and disadvantage is in 5e because it's too advantageous and too disadvantageous but but then again, that's what advantage and disadvantage is all about in D&D 5e. It's, it's all about simplicity in 5e. But, that, but I do like the boons and banes advantage and disadvantage uh, better here. So here's the, you know, the core book. Here's all of the supporters thanking them. Uh, it's a beautiful book. I mean, the way that this book is put together is really nice. The art is beautiful. Uh, the way that the characters are set up, I mean, are is pretty awesome as well. You have core classes, you have races and everything else. So, And the amount of content for Shadow of the Demon Lord is ridiculously insane. Schwab is a machine. And I actually stopped supporting Shadow of the Demon Lord because I like to have everything. And he was literally putting multiple PDFs and books out every week. So I just said, you know what? I'm not, I can't do this. So uh, I, when I sold all of my RPG stuff, well, I sold 18 boxes of books. Unfortunately, Shadow of the Demon Lord did not make the cut. And all of my Shadow of the Demon Lord stuff went to the game store. And I really regretted doing that. I regretted getting rid of Shadow of the Demon Lords, and I really regretted getting rid of 13th Age. But... Uh, for Christmas, I got a gift card for eBay for my mother, and I just happened to find this entire lot for like $75. I mean, and, and a lot of these books I didn't even know existed. And I believe there's, what, 13 books in this lot? And I paid, I didn't even pay, I didn't even pay 80 bucks because it was like $75 and $5 media shipping. And, I mean, I got all these books. And I, and I wasn't planning on getting Shadow of the Demon Lord again because I've already got, you know, I'm playing Starfinder. 
and Pathfinder 2 and D&D 5e and basic D&D and 4th edition if I decide to play 4th. And I just I just didn't really want to you know invest again, but when I saw that this deal for like 75 bucks I'm like, hey, that's what I'm getting for Christmas, so I went ahead and I I put the minimum bid at $75 and I actually won it. I I didn't think I was going to win it, but I did. But yeah, character creation in here is really good. You know, you have your your core uh your novice paths first and your novice are basically your magician and there's four core uh you know classes there's your priest your rogue or your rouge if you want to call it a rouge i don't care and then your warrior and then once you hit a certain level i believe it's level three is it level three I believe it's level three or three or four, whenever it's been a long time since I've played a couple of years. So then you choose your expert paths, which are off of the four, you know, the four core classes. So here's your, you know, your four different clerics for your priest. You can be a cleric, druid, oracle, or paladin. And, you know, you can just expand from there. And then once you hit a higher level, and then here's all of the descriptions and all of the features and stuff that you get, and then when you hit a, a higher level, level seven, I think, is when your master path kicks in. And as long as you meet the requirements, you can be any master path that you want. And there's just tons of master paths. I mean, just, just tons of them. And every one of his books is like that as well. So there's so much customization. And of course, you know, you got your equipment section, all your different magic, they're in uh, sort of like the way they're set up, just like they are in Fantasy Age, the different schools of magic, alteration, arcana, etc. And then there's, you know, all kinds of spells in each one of these uh, spell schools. Huge section on magic. And then there's a, there's a gazetteer as well on Earth. I, I love how... He's called it Earth, but it's spelled U-R-T-H. <laughs> I like that. And then there's like the lands of rule and stuff. And this is like a gazetteer. Cool little map right there. And then it has, you know, a gazetteer, etc. Here's all your rules for running the game, which is super easy to run. Like I said, it's 3D6. I mean, it's, it's, not a, it's definitely not a, a hard game to play. And then here's all of your, your best theory, which is a, a huge, and then magic items and stuff like that. Massive amount of monsters in here. I mean, it's nice to see a best theory, a huge best theory in here. And then there's all kinds of like NPCs and then character templates for modifying monsters and stuff. Really nice. I, I like it. And then it has an index, character sheet, stuff like that. So that's the core book. It has everything you need to play the game. And it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful game. It's really fun and it's super easy to play. And new players and new GMs can pick it up with not a problem. So here's a Demon Lord Companions book. This is just nothing but a bunch of uh, customization stuff. New monsters. There's like uh, five pages of monsters. Here's a bunch of new spells and a bunch of new spell pools. There's uh, v vehicles have been added and the rules for vehicles. There's all kinds of new equipment and new magic items. There's all kinds of new level seven master paths, all kinds of level four classes like the shaman, the swashbuckler. So as you can see, he's put a lot of time and effort into character customization, which is pretty awesome. And then here's some new face, uh, new races like the halfling, the fawn, um, I think that's about it. The halfling and the fawn. Yeah, but that's the Demon Lord's Companion 1. Here's the Demon Lord Companion 2, which is the same thing. It's basically just all character customization and new monsters that are in the back. And I love it, man. When you're, you know, and here's new spells and stuff as well. So that's, and here's your master paths. In fact, I don't see any monsters in here. So this looks like all kinds of new master paths, expert paths. Uh, there's, oh, group themes are introduced as well. So you can kind of have a theme for your group and kind of choose the background for that. 
Uh, here's some new races like the Yerith. You can be a Naga, a Molkin, Hamadryad, the Farron. I like it. So that's the Companion 2. And most of these, I, I didn't even, I had like terrible beauty I had. This is all character customization and monsters from the Fae or terrible beauty. Well, this book's never even been opened up, but yeah, there you go. Here's a, here's like a little gazetteer and a map for the Fae. An adventure as well as in there. There's a monsters like a, the unicorn, marrows, satyrs. Layers, all kinds of mountain. No, oh, wow, actually, a huge, uh, huge amount of creatures. Here's all kinds of, uh, I think these are the, uh, these are actually talking about the, the cities like Alfheim and Elysium and stuff like that. So these are the hidden kingdoms that are inside of the, the lands of the fairy. And then here's new magic. There's new master paths. Oh, well, look at that. That's nice. Beguiler, the Cat Sith, the Eternal Guardian. There's new expert paths. A couple new races. You can create a pixie. You can create a hobgoblin. You can create an elf now. A fairy. New professions. So, yeah, it's terrible beauty. Adds a lot. World. Beyond the World's Edge, which is beyond, uh, I, I believe it's uh, not on Earth, but it's, it's beyond the map that I had shown you. And this is, uh, wow, all kinds of new combat. Oh, new content. It looks like the plains and stuff, actually. The Lands of Rule, whatever it was. Oh, wow, here's like new monsters again. Very nice. And the art's really nice. Here's the, oh, wow, the Bay of Blood. The Ashen Waste. So this is far to the north. Beyond the World's Edge, North, South, East, West, I don't know. This is a book that I didn't even know existed till I seen this on the on the <laughs> on the actual eBay lot. Beyond the Aur uh, Aurel, wow, I'll say that real quick. Aurora, uh, Auroral Ocean, my bad. More monsters, the scattered lands beyond the desolation. I remember the Desolation was a desert, and there's actually a book on the desolation. So there's Beyond the World's Edge. Here's Tales from the Demon, Tales of the Demon Lord. I had this before, and this is just a bunch of adventures and some new creatures. So here's uh, The End is Near, Prince of Darkness, Off the Rails. So yeah, this this book, and I believe that you can do these all in order as a campaign or something like that torn born to die harvester of sorrows I, this is actually the one that i ran harvester of sorrows harvester of sorrow good metallica song city and shadow so yeah this is a just a, an entire book of adventures and there are different uh levels as well for those here's tales of desolation Preparing adventures, running adventures, and I believe these were adventures in the area of the desolation. So there's breathing as a luxury. Look at that nice, cool-looking ghoul right there. I like it. Sands through the hourglass adventure. Mummy dust adventure. And this is a very dark and gritty setting. There's not a lot of flowers and stuff this is like you know <laughs> i mean it's the demon lord's coming basically and then here's some new monsters and stuff which is really cool tales of desolation exquisite agony this is actually this i bought this book and this is all uh about hell and the damned and demons and stuff like that demons and stuff so yeah very nice there's the actually the, the depths of hell. It looks like skin kind of sewn together. It looks cool. Talking about how to escape from hell and the different rewards and discoveries. And yeah. 
here's a, and then there's a huge bestiary on all the demons and stuff which you can never have too many monsters in your arsenal and then here's a an an adventure called with all my hatred and there's the northern reach this is a nice map too and then you can make hellbound characters too and then here's all the different uh features for them and you can be a like there's some master paths and stuff like that there's new diabolical spells exquisite agony so freeport is by green ronine it's their it's their setting like their their default setting and this is actually a pretty pretty big book and this is like 100 and 150 pages or something 180 pages and this is converted the converted freeport companion for shadow of the demon lords man schwab is a machine dude i mean i don't i don't know how he has all the time to do this and i mean it, it's it's honestly it's really impressive i mean this guy is he's so dedicated to just churning content out it, it's crazy so yeah here's all of the different races and you know the districts and everything the magic weapons so this is basically a whole another game that you can play with shadow of the demon lords here's the different peoples and like all kinds of uh, stat blocks and these would be good to use in a regular shadow of the demon lord campaign i mean look at the size of this bestiary i mean this is just this is just ridiculous i mean look at all these that's impressive old hatreds oh these are these are adventures in the back for freeport so that's cool nice cartography look at that map holy cow have fun navigating through that <laughs> so there's the freeport companion that's actually nice and the freeport companion is actually 28 bucks so i paid 75 dollars for that and the freeport companion which doesn't even look like it's ever been opened is like a third of that here's the last book that i actually bought was uncertain faith this is all like you know if it's exactly what it is you know new spells and all different types of religions and stuff like that so there's some monsters and new paths and stuff like that talks all about religion and shadow of the demon lords which is which is nice the hunger and the void I'm not too sure what this is all about i don't remember seeing this when i was when i was uh you know into shadow of the demon lords a few years back the shadow darkens uh this is about the void which is another realm so i guess this is all about the void yeah really nice demonic talents oh so there's ways to create demons oh wow wow this is really nice wow this is nice well that's a lot yeah this is a whole wow summoning and making demons choose the different sizes the attributes wow i love it when it's detailed like that for creation and then here's a here's a bestiary all kinds of new demonic magic looks awesome man the hunger and the void by charles schwab forbidden tales forbidden rules and actually robert schwab he worked on dnd 5e as well in case you didn't know that so here's a forbidden rules i believe this book is all about new rules for shadow of the demon lord i believe and then there's all kinds of different uh, spell casting variations new weapons uh there's some new oh there's a new novice path so now there's five there's one called the adept that's pretty cool so what does the adept adept go out what comes after the adept oh i guess it's just the adept is the adept because it looks like there's level two level five level eight so it looks like the adept is its own is its own class it looks like which is cool huh. 
all kinds of social interaction stuff, variant healing, simplified death and dying, converting damage, damage reducing armor options, fortune points, corruption. Yeah, corruption is, I liked corruption. That was basically karma from what I remember. So if your character does a bad deed, he gets corruption. And then once he gets to a certain point, he's like just being hunted nonstop. So there you go, everybody. That's what I got for Shadow of the Demon Lord. I have, I don't think I have anywhere close to all of the content and I probably won't. Uh, but for, you know, $75 to get like 13 bucks, it's like a super cheap price. So there you go. Let me know down in the comment section. Do you guys like Shadow of the Demon Lord? I know it's a pretty popular game and I know a lot of people out there play Shadow of the Demon Lord. So chime in down in the comment sections. I want to hear what you have to say about Shadow of the Demon Lord. If you've played it, how you like all the, the content, etc. So uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, stay safe and happy gaming. Bye, everybody.